Hey, this is Alex Schultz from Alex's uh, Paper Airplanes, paperairplanes.co.uk. I don't know if you saw, but as I walked through the centre of those two balloons there, they were pulled together. Now, the reason for that was I was pulling air with me, and so there was moving air moving through the centre of those balloons that um, caused them uh, to move together because of the Bernoulli effect. And the Bernoulli effect states that faster moving air has higher pressure than slower moving air. In fact, more generally, faster moving fluid has lower pressure than slower moving fluid. And the Bernoulli effect is what leads to lift uh, in planes. Uh, air over the top of the wing is going quicker than the air on the bottom of the wing. Um, and for those of you who've seen my um, cardboard tube uh, demonstration, which if you haven't, you should take a look at it, you can see that uh, the cardboard tube is just a tube in that demonstration, and so the distance over the top of the wing, if you like, is the same as the distance over the bottom of the wing. And despite that, because the tube is turning and the air around the tube is turning, the tube is able to lift because it has a vortex of moving air going around the tube. I think one of the greatest fallacies in um, a lot of uh, books about paper airplanes is they describe uh, the reason for lift as being air moves faster over the top of the wing than the bottom because the top of the wing is longer than the bottom of the wing and air has to move faster to travel the same distance. There's no law uh, that states that has to be the case. Um, it's down to bound vortexes and uh, bound vortices and if you want to learn more um, you should look it up on Wikipedia. Anyway, the idea here is we have two balloons. They're about a foot and a half apart, probably 18 inches apart. And what I'm going to do is use a hairdryer to blow some hot air through the middle of the balloons. And the perspective of the camera is a little bit awkward, so you may feel they're being blown towards you. They are going to be pulled together by having fast air um, moving between them. The hairdresser is quite loud, so I'm not going to be able to uh, talk over it while it's going on. Um, but check this out. See how those two balloons got pulled together um, oh, and almost touched? Let's do it again. Oops. That was fun. Got the balloons to touch three times there, and they touched because there was fast moving air moving between the middle of them, um, and that fast moving air was faster than the air on either side that wasn't moving. So you should see it once more as I walk through the middle of these balloons, I'll be dragging air behind me, it will be moving fast, and that will pull the balloons together. The Bernoulli effect I think is cool, and I think this is another great experiment for demonstrating it.